Hey, Soma, it's so exciting to come to the end of Soma Praise. We've been learning so much, particularly from the mouth of Jesus, as he's taught us how to pray. Uh, we've learned uh, a great deal. It's been transformative for me, even uh, practicing a breath prayer, having silence and solitude, uh, reflecting uh, with others in our church throughout the weeks. Uh, it's been such a rich, rich time. And now as we come to the end, we're at this point of learning how to make petitions, how to ask God for daily bread, how to ask for forgiveness, how to ask uh, for God to lead us away from destruction and evil, but instead lead us to life. Uh, and one of the practices that really helps us, a spiritual discipline that really puts our bodies in with our mind and our hearts is the, the practice of fasting. And so we're calling everyone in the church to fast on Saturday, a bread and water fast, meaning all day that day, you're just going to eat bread and water. Uh, if you have medical conditions and things, you can reach out to me. I can give you other ideas on, on other fasts uh, to participate in. But what's unique about that uh, even as we as a church uh, do it all together, is that it's it's kind of in that, that longing for a different kind of nourishment, something besides bread and water, that we realize that God is giving us our daily bread in his presence. Uh, it's in that, that angstiness and even the frustration that comes in fasting that we, we begin to realize only God can make us holy and able to obey. And also in that moment of, of aimlessness sometimes in fasting, it really directs us and our minds and our hearts to go continually back to God and pray. Lead us from the temptations of this world and lead us to the life of the kingdom. And so we're going to call everyone to fast this Saturday. Uh, and then uh, on Sunday, we're going to feast together because fasting and feasting goes together. Uh, after the time of, of abstaining, we're going to get together on Sunday. We'll take communion, and that's when we're going to break the fast with the bread and the wine. And then we're going to go outside, and we're going to have a feast of tacos, feasting on the goodness of the gospel and the fellowship all together. And so I, I pray and hope that you will participate. Uh, it's my longing that we would see everyone in our church uh, do this fast. Uh, we're going to share resources and reminders. Talk about it in your DNA group. You have to make a plan to fast. You know, you can't, uh, you have to, to plan on even abstaining from going out to eat and these other things that we might typically do on Saturday. And it's all that intention that actually shapes our minds on, oh, this is what it's like to think through each day. How can I spend it in the presence of Jesus as I go through life? Uh, fasting is truly Awesome. Uh, so excited that we get to participate in it all together.